Hi there. Welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all having an amazing weekend. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. Take what resonates, only the rest. This could resonate if you have placements in your birth chart, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs in Sag, or you're dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Oops. Personal readings are open. Email me if you're interested in a personal reading. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. Sagittarius. What's going on with my Sagittarius collective? We have Three of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, The Lovers, Gemini energy, Judgment, Scorpio energy, the High Priestess, Pisces energy, Strength, Leo energy, lots of major arcanas here. So there's huge changes coming toward you. The Sun, wow, another major arcana, Leo energy again. And we have the Seven of Swords. Back of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow, we have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana here. For some of you, your intuition is telling you that it's trying to like nudge you to go back to school or to continue your studies in something. Um, for others of you, they may be telling you to maybe extend the olive branch with somebody or somebody is feeling nudged by the universe to extend the olive branch with you or that's what their intuition is telling them to do, to work things out, to cooperate, compromise, meet somebody in the middle or kind of just, you know, um, yeah, try to like work something out with somebody, work on something with somebody, work with somebody. What is the Seven of Swords, though? The Hierophant and the King of Swords. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. What's this mean for my Sag viewers? The Five of Swords. What about the Five of Swords? The Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. What's the sneaky energy, though, or this strategizing? The world and the star. I feel like somebody is trying to figure out how to heal a situation with you, fix something with you. Something that has already maybe come to an end. Something that has already maybe been a missed opportunity for someone. They're trying to figure out how to like, to see if there's hope for the situation. Or trying to figure out how to restore hope into a situation. Heal something, fix something. It's like now somebody realizes that they maybe want to marry you or they want to commit to you after they've maybe missed an opportunity and there was maybe some type of conflict between the two of you. I'm going to get more clarity here. So here, I need to know more about, it looks like, like something either, tell me about the lovers and the sun, the nine of swords. Okay. What about that? What's coming to light here? That's causing someone a lot of stress. You guys could have found out that somebody was a player. There could be something coming to light about someone being a player or having another person. Or like, they're, they're very unstable. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. The Six of Cups and the Two of... Yeah, they were maybe juggling something from their past and something like with you with something from their past. Or some you and somebody that they have history with. You and somebody that they have children with. Or maybe that's what your worry is. I just heard choose. You're you're worried about whether or not this person's gonna maybe choose you or the past, or like yeah, or like choose you or their past, or maybe staying stuck in their old ways, or or choosing you. Like, there's a choice that needs to be made here about this a connection. Hmm. Tell me about temperance and strength. Wheel of Fortune. All right, tell me more. Why the wheel, though? 
it's only a matter of time. Like you and this person may not be speaking right now, but there's definitely if this this person's gonna grow up here and come towards you, or they're gonna like finally get the strength and the courage to like make things right in this situation. I do see this progressing to something happy and harmonious. It's just divine timing is at play here. And I feel like there needs to be some big changes enacted before that can happen. All right. But I definitely do see that. But I need more clarity. Um, what is this? Why? What is this? Three of Pentacles. Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. All right. Well, why are the Three of Pentacles though? The Fool. Yeah. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah. I definitely feel like you guys are kind of feeling like guarded towards working on things with this person you guys are kind of like i don't know if i want to work like you guys i feel like you guys are being nudged to like give this person another chance what should they do in regards to this person nine of cups yeah well okay what, what should they do in regards to this person nine of cups page of cups yeah they're telling you to make you know it's up to you you have free will you have free will in this situation I feel like you and this person are both obsessing over each other. All right. Um, it's up to you, but I definitely do see that this, you guys may be guarded towards them because of whatever has happened between you and this person. But I do see that spirit is nudging you to make amends with this person. You don't maybe have to get back together with them or let them back into your life, but at least, you know, maybe squash the beef with this person. But I definitely do see that if that's something that you desire, that you and this person could have a harmonious happy relationship here but i think you guys are have concerns all right rightfully so here so tell me about what's the judgment card i think this person is all right the world and fight, they want to end this conflict they want to come back and act for another chance here return put an end to the tension between the two of you eight of wands and the three of cups yeah they want to reconcile they want to be in a relationship with you they have a lot of emotion for you um They're confused on whether or not you would still give to them or if, you know, if this could, like, if you're still willing to give to them. But I still need clarity. What's the Seven of Swords, though? Is this con a concerning Seven of Swords or is this a strategy? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords. No. Okay, so what's, what's the strategizing? Two of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Is that still an issue? No. Okay, so what's this Ace of Pentacles mean for my Sag Collective? Death and eight of pentacles is this Ooh. i see something coming somebody coming towards you and asking you if you are single if you are available but there was some type of obstacle here that maybe caused an ending between the two of you that's no longer an issue but spirit's really not revealing to me we're gonna go into the oracle cards guys because i see somebody coming with a stable offer here but it could just be this person having regrets for things that happened in the past between the two of you with that five of cups so now they're coming in to make things right strategizing how to come back toward you Trying to work with the courage to come back towards you. Oops, hold on. Dropping half a duck. Boundaries, yeah. And soulmates. Yeah, it's like you guys feel very guarded towards a person that you still also. Don't trust. It's like you you don't trust a person. You've set boundaries with the person. You're not going to settle for less than you deserve. But you guys still feel like a very strong connection to a person. But you had to like set boundaries with them. All right. You definitely still feel like this person is your soulmate. But you're still you're in this energy where you're standing your ground with them now. And you're, I feel like you're guarded towards them. Like you're not, you may not even be speaking to them. You guys could be in no contact, but you still feel like that is your person. <laughs> so tell me. Finances could be a factor. Yeah. You, like, it's like you guys still feel very drawn to a person that you guys know that you need to maybe leave alone or that you feel like for now, you guys can't work things out. You still feel like they're your person. Yeah. What is this hidden? See, this is like stinky energy. Good news. Okay. 
Tell me about the hidden woman. And what's this mean for my Sag Collective? What about the woman? Reconciliation. What's this mean for my Sag Collective? Trial and error. I feel like you guys are maybe going to have options as well. You definitely do still have deep feelings for this person, but I feel like you guys are going to have options, like an option between maybe trying to reconcile with this person and maybe opening yourself up to new possibilities as well. And I feel like you're going to have to make a decision about that. Um, yeah, Spirit says take the, all the time you need to really reflect or really think about what to do in this situation. Um, what's this rare gift mean for this their connection that's coming through here? Clean up and what's this mean for my sub collective? Friendships. Spirit says that you and this person actually needed this separation. The separation was actually a gift from the universe. Like, you know, you and this person being apart. They're, they're putting a, a, a lot of emphasis on needing to focus on work and money, career. And also maybe some of you guys needed to remove some people out of your circle. Like, I'm, and I don't mean these, this person. It could have included this person. But I feel like there was also maybe some friendships, some people that you had in your circle that were toxic. Um, and you had to remove those people from your life to make room for better things or you know, make room for the, either for this person or make room for better things to come into your life. It's like they were taking up space, like, but they were no, there, there was no benefit of having those people in your life. Yeah, time off. So you're just saying that this was like, yeah, it's something to do with money. Maybe your, in, your uh, finances have really improved or increased since you and this person have been in separation. All right. So what's the good news that's coming in here? Anger. Uh-oh, what's this mean for my sages? what does this mean for my side collective why dating and ghosting divine timing so yeah if you guys still haven't heard from this person you are going to hear from them yeah, you guys are waiting. You guys expect to hear from this person or spirit is saying to, to expect to hear from them. Things are over between you and this person. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, somebody really needs to focus on their finances. Somebody maybe is also traveling at this time or it's like you and this person are going to take things to the next level. But it's in divine timing here. I do see you and this person dating. But for right now, it's like maybe things end it very weird between you and this person too. And you feel like you have a lack of closure. But I definitely see there was some type of argument. Because you want it more from a person. So that's still not wrapping up. That's like open another can of worms for your sad news. Okay, but we have good news here too. Thorns. Somebody's about to make a sacrifice for you, I think. Okay, and what's this mean? Somebody's, a, somebody's about to take a risk here. All right, what about round and round? Happiness. Third party. What about third party? I definitely see someone moving away from a third party or something from their past. Like definitely moving on from something from their past here. Divine intervention and it's like somebody's going to have a choice between relocating or what? Yeah, somebody's going to come back and ask for but what relocating and what's the other option? Love. Yeah, it's like somebody's going to have, have a choice between relocating and love. A rare opportunity in love. Mmm. Oof, this is not, this is crazy. And this love opportunity is not something that someone's going to find again. It's a one-of-a-kind rare opportunity from the divine. Why is someone wanting to relocate here? This reading is getting longer than I expected it to. Why is someone wanting to relocate? Because of money? Secrets? Toxicity? Somebody feels like they need to. Chaos. Woo. Why do they feel like they need to move?
Somebody feels like they might be happier if they move. But I feel like that's actually not going to be a good opportunity for someone. They're going to regret that. If somebody does choose to move, that's not going to be a good move. Somebody's going to heavily regret moving. So if this is you guys having a choice between relocating or not relocating, I would say not to do it. So... Is someone, are they, is someone going to move? The masculine? What about the masculine? Mmm, guys. Spirit's not really revealing to me. Lightning, okay. And somebody's going to choose to do what's best for their highest good. And they could, I feel like somebody may choose to move. Or, hmm, I just see things being up in the air between you and this person. Is someone going to choose to move? World, the devil, good health. It's like, it's undetermined right now, guys. Marriage, karmic cycle. Yeah, somebody could still be married to a karmic. Yeah, it's up in the air right now. It's undecided. Somebody could maybe not be seeing things clearly. All right, let's get you some cards of advice. I feel like this is something that's yet to be determined. We got to give it some time. Let's see what happens in next week's readings. Um, where's the deck I want to use? Four cards. This? Tell me about this love situation. We have goddess vibes or god vibes. Don't be afraid to be different. Allow your inner goddess or God to radiate after you meet her or him. You'll never be the same. Honor the divine feminine or masculine. We have yum. The sexual chemistry is so powerful that he or she awakened the romantic and the animal inside of you. It can be dangerous if not handled with care. We have sit it out. Yeah, this person has a lot of crap going on in their life for sure. Babe, take that's what Spirit's saying. You're going to maybe have to take do what's best for your for your own good because this person has a lot of chaos going on in their life. Babe, take no part in that drama. If he or she wants to be part of your life, they will make an effort to be in it. Your inaction will cause a reaction. And we have growth. Growth is a detox process. It is not a change in partners, or rather a change in perception that will deliver the love you seek. And we have workout. It's time to shape up miss or mister. Workout, eat well, and sleep well. You'll thank me later once you start to see the rewards of your hard work. I want to get one card to see what this relationship could progress to because I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to extend this reading. This was an exhausting reading. This is probably how you guys feel about the situation. Drained, exhausted. What's this relationship progressing to or what could it progress to? Let's just do one card, Spirit. One card. Oof. We have star-crossed lovers. Both of you will want to be together, but you feel like the stars are working against you. Perhaps it's bad timing. So yeah, I told you divine timing is at the um is that play here guys it says who is playing who somebody here is looking to score but only play if you are willing to lose the game hmm let's get one more let's see if spirit will tell us is this are the obstacles or the block i saw an, an indication of the blockages being cleared but let's see here we have common law union so i don't see you and this person necessarily getting married yet but I definitely see you guys living together and almost it will seem like you're married. You may have a live-in relationship that is bound by love without the matrimonial rules. And we have good on paper. Ooh. Some of, <laughs> you'll date someone because you should, but the oomph factor is missing. They don't excite you. Somebody could be getting into this relationship or wanting to get into this common law union or this living situation with you for the wrong reasons, guys. So keep that in mind. I wish Spirit would tell me more about what they're trying to, hmm. Why do they want to, let's get one card. We're going to just do one more, guys. Why do they want to, mm, let's use this deck. This is a 22-minute reading. Oh, this deck is crazy. Why, do they, why are they going to want to meet in a common law union with my Sag Collective?
Why are they going to want to be in a common law union with my sad collective? Obsession. Ooh, they may have to give like child support or alimony and they're not going to be able mm, it could be because of money. I kept seeing money issues coming through. Others involved. Or they may need your help. Yeah, they may need your financial support. What about the karmic? Magnetic? What's this mean for my Sag Collective? Ooh. Tell me about trash. Meeting and Divine Feminine. What about the Divine Feminine? Rage about to explode. What is going on here? There's definitely a, a karmic intervening here. They feel very drawn to you like they can't let you go. <coughs> All right, this needs more clarity. All right, what about this third party? How? What is this, what's going on between the third party and this other person? This person that's coming through for my timing. What about pause? They're, they're not with that person. They're trying to escape the karmic, okay? They're trying to escape the karmic. And what's this mean for my Sagittarius collective? There's something about deadline, time running out to what? Somebody feels closed in, trapped. Deadline for what? Divine mask. Yeah, you guys are telling this masculine, your time's running out for me. Like, you guys are not, you're telling them like, you better get it together soon or you're going to lose me. So I definitely see the divine masculine chasing you, begging. I do see them removing what they need to from their life to be able to make this work with you. And I definitely see somebody not being happy about the, the boundaries that this, this person you're dealing with is about to set. All right, guys. So this is where we're going to leave it. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. If you email me if you're interested in a personal reading. Um, and don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can um, find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.